Hi everyone. So this right here is Acker Shahan, and then this right here is Dream. You can tell both of them are pretty much the same. Uh, both of them are grown in uh, actually on the same tree with different scion. Uh, I got the Acker Shahan from uh, JF in uh, La Arbor. I got Dream from another fellow up in Sacramento. I forgot his name, but uh, for, I was gonna do a side by side comparison, see how they taste. But looks like the Akka Shahan uh, got a little bit ripe faster than the Dream. I think the Dream may be a little bit too early, so we'll wait up on the Dream. But here is how this here fruit look. Uh, it was unfortunately cracked or damaged by the recent hot and cold weather and the rain uh, a couple months ago. Uh, so it looks beautiful. Looks kind of like Lisa where it's, uh, the seeds looks like a typical Adamoya seed. Uh, texture wise, it feel like it's chewy. And then, so this is me, sorry for, actually I just recently got a haircut. So usually you see my mo much worse than this. Uh, let's see how it looks. So it comes apart. It's very sweet. This year, that tree that I have this grown on has a very, produced very sweet. It has acid in it compared to regular uh, African pride. African pride does not have acid. African pride is just like a Dr. White where it's really sweet. Yeah, this tastes like a regular Adam Oya to me. Uh, sweet, a little bit acid. A little bit aromatic, kind of like a little bit of banana. It's not like a cherimoya. It's good, but I wouldn't pick this over a cherimoya. It's chewy when you get to the membrane around the seed. Overall, it's not greeny like my other uh, different type of cherimoya. Uh, this year, this one here looks like regular African Pride, but I call it Taiwanese because I got it from a Taiwan market. And it produces uh, very, very big fruit. And it's a lot sweeter than uh, my African Pride too. Uh, I had two of the fruit this year. Very sweet, very good. A lot better than even some of my uh, Cherimoya. So this is actually a very surprise. And then I'm waiting for this uh, Pink Mammoth to uh, right, uh, it was getting big and I didn't want to damage by the recent weather, you know, when the part right here is coming up, up I guess, when you know it's about ready and that's when you should pick it. You can tell it's green, uh, the part that's not hit by the sun and this part that's hit by the sun turned kind of like a pinkish, uh, reddish color. That's how you know it's a pink mammoth. And then as soon as this is ripe, I'll let you guys know how this tastes. But overall, I'll give this a 7 or 8 out of 10. Still is good, but Asian people would actually prefer this over Chen Moya because the texture wise, it's more chewier and there's texture in it. Whereas some mm, Chen Moya, there's no texture, it's all cream, kind of like ice cream, kind of like butter. If you had a El Bumpo, it's very smooth. This is chewy, it's good. I like it, but I, I prefer the flavor of a with this texture. Thank you.